During the simulation for the first 100 time steps or so, we won't see anything in the primary grid. The wave will only be propagating across the incident grid. This is because it takes about 100 time steps for the wave to propagate to the total field scatter field interface, which is right about here, since total field scatter field is equal to 100. After about 100 time steps, the Gaussian pulse will start to be incorporated into the primary grid, as you can see here. Although it won't be visible right away because n naught, the delay of the peak of the Gaussian, is 60 time steps. Here's a snapshot of the EZ fields in the primary grid at 170 time steps. At this point, the Gaussian is still propagating into the total field region. Throughout the rest of the time steps, you hopefully saw this wave propagate all the way across the total field region. And then, at 300 here, it should have been subtracted out of the grid at this right total field scatter field interface. Now try modeling an infinite PEC plate halfway through the primary grid. So right at 200 here, try putting a PEC. So don't model this PEC in the incident grid, which should be just free space. To implement the PEC, you can just set EZ equal to zero at I max divided by two for all time steps. What do you expect to happen when we put a PEC halfway through the grid?